expect from Solomon Islands Beach Soccer in the future? Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll uh, do some work for our future uh, uh, players and kids. I think uh, this, is my, this is my last last appearance for Beach Soccer. Maybe I'm coach or official. Not the last match with James Naka. No, I think I think yeah, I really it is, it, I promise this is my last last. Well, it was a good match to go out on, James. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was an emotional day for Solomon Islands when one of the country's football legends, James Naka, announced his international retirement after the final whistle blew at the OFC Beach Soccer Nations Cup 2019 title decider in Tahiti. Retirement blew me. We still still over not too. And after COVID, yeah, we come back to the main, get fit a little bit, time joining Kosha, so. I know we still maintaining my fitness level a little bit. Not a COVID, but we still want to strike a training a little more. The former Billy Kiki star, who captained Solomon Islands at five FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup campaigns, stayed true to his words to recently embark on his coaching career with Honiara Titans at the inaugural National Invitational Beach Soccer Championship 2020. With a total of 47 international goals notched for his country, the prolific 36-year-old admits that his new role brings a number of challenges. Yeah, team, uh, old players and few, few new players. Uh, Playing new players and a little bit hard for explaining and play according to a uh, uh, system or you know, we call all players. So we try to use to teaching water. So I'm not in good for majority of the fun, I love all players. So we all just flow with the game system and experience with them. Uh, also, my people of Solomon side have moved to the retired miss, but uh, if, if uh, SIF and uh, management side, if it's a good team as a coach player, my uh, interest for back on the field. It's often said that players of Oceania were born on the sand. For James Naka, it's undeniable. <laughs>